Welcome to this episode of the DJ Podcast. My name is Peter Morgan. In this week's video tutorial, I'm going to show you some ways to ease the transition from going between Serato Scratch Live and Native Instruments Tractor. If you are a person that, you know, made a lot of crates, subcrates, that sort of thing in Serato, you can go over to the Native Instruments forums on their website and download the Scratch Live database importer. And you can find a link to that in the show notes at the djpodcast.com. And what that does is it just takes all of your files and it doesn't move them. It doesn't do anything with them. It just takes the information that's in them that Serato created and essentially translates that into the information that Tractor can use. And it will also create new well, Serato calls them crates and Tractor their playlists, but it's essentially take your crates and put them into a format the Tractor can understand. So it's not as if you need to go through and make all your crates again. Now, once you're actually in Tractor, there are a few things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Because the settings for a Tractor that you would normally find in Serato are in different places. So for example, if you want to have all of your tracks be the be set to one particular volume level or auto gain as they say in Serato, you go to the mixer tab of your preferences and you can see that you can set an auto gain when loading tracks. Now I will say that I do not actually know what level this auto gain is set to. I know that in Serato, you know, you can choose what level you want it to what level you want all the tracks to be set to, but I'm not sure how they're set in Tractor. And if you do know, please uh, send me an email or just write in the comments because I've been wondering about this. Now in Scratch Live, when you import a song into the program, it won't do anything with it. But then once you load it, you know, it'll go through, it'll analyze, it'll find the BPM, that sort of thing. Well, in Tractor, you can set it up to do that automatically when you import the song into your library or your track collection, as they call it. To do that, you're going to want to go to the File Management tab, and you can see that we have Analyze New Tracks on Collection Load Import, and also Analyze New Tracks when loading into the deck. Now, I have both of these checked, although theoretically, anytime I would put it into the, I would use a track in Tractor, I would put it in the collection first. But if you have it set to analyze new tracks on collection import, that means that any time you import a song, it will automatically analyze the track, find the waveform, find the BPM, and that sort of thing. Also on this tab, you can see we have the BPM detection range, which Serato also has as a drop down menu. And I set mine to 100 to 150 because I know that I'm not going to be mixing any tracks that go below or above that range. Another important thing to note here is that you can check set beat grid when detecting BPM and this will automatically create a beat grid on your tracks which you can see uh, here this track these little white uh, vertical lines here that's the beat grid and for the most part they're fairly accurate although of course you know they can be off if you have a song that is maybe drifts the tempo or has tempo changes at different parts. So you, you don't just want to go into a blindly, you want to make sure you check your beat grids. And finally, you can change how the waveforms actually look by going into the global view options. And you can see here that we have the option of selecting what we want to show on the waveform. That's it for this episode of the DJ Podcast. Once again, you can find the link to the Serato Scratch Live database importer at the djpodcast.com. Also, make sure to subscribe on iTunes. Go to the iTunes store and search for the DJ Podcast or click on the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.